Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Hard West 2 with me, Break It Dawn. Let's check out Boomtown. It's a small town, probably set up in the last decade or so. Rail tracks end at a station nearby the town. A hanging scaffolding has been built at the town square. The townsfolk are hardened by years of living at the very frontier of Hard West. Enter Boomtown. Sounds like a town for Mad Max. That's dear! Shit. They beat him good. We look down at Boomtown from atop a hill. It was a modest place where the paint is still fresh. The rail tracks cut toward it through the snow. We heard a hubbub as we drew closer. The townsfolk have gathered in the small square to watch a lone, bloodied man standing in the gallows. It was Laughing Deer. We're breaking him out. Rumors. Richie's men are hardened thugs, but if we keep pushing forward, they won't have time to do anything. I recommend to kill those with rifles first, as they shoot accurately. Also, dynamite sticks will be useful here in case they clump together. Main objective, kill Sheriff Richie and all his henchmen. We'll get $30 in Widowmaker. A side objectives, get Laughing Deer's equipment. We'll get a Coyote Tooth Necklace. And kill all the enemies on the square in the first round. We'll get dynamite. That's enough. We'll be taking that gentleman with us now. Thank you. Look at what crawled out from under the snow, guys. Another lost soul in Boomtown. Pleasure's all mine, Sheriff. See, this friend of yours is wanted in at least four states for murdering some big, fat, and famous chief. Did you know about this? I don't care. He's mine. Give him back, now. You heard that, jackass boys? Did that sound like a threat to you? It sure did sound like a threat to me. Do we have time for this? I'm asking you, one last time, say pretty please. Flynn? On it, boss. <laughs> Witchcraft! Shoot them! Kill them all! Alright, Shadow Barrage. Each posse member has unique skill. Jin can shoot bullets that pass through cover and walls. We call this skill the Shadow Barrage. Better watch and learn, kids. Can't do, amigo. Oh, so I have to use it now. What if I swap my gun first? Whoa! Hold your horses. Not gonna let me. Dodge this. I'll be fine. I'll... Oh. All right, Flynn's shadow swap allows her to change places with foes and allies. This unstable witchcraft does a small amount of damage to her and the target. Let's mix it up a bit, shall we? And it's just the beginning. More skills will unlock as you progress through Hard West 2. Right now though, you know everything you need to massacre those bastards in town. Good luck. Got him! Easy now! Keep it steady, girl. Well, off on that Let's for right now. Let's see what he can do. So I can't quite finish them yet. Got how many in the square? Three, four, five, six. I assume that he counts as well, so seven.
Also just lob dynamite right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, that's wow. Who wants to join me in the afterlife? Only 90% chance. Let's get a little closer before we take that shot. What's I'll take the, the 98%. Hmm. Seems like I can't get any more dead. Let's see that. Probably should have had a laughing deer finish that guy off instead. Yeah? I'm gonna finish him off. How about Let's do her? this? Play a twenty nine percent chance. I ain't afraid of death. I've sent him a lot of business over the years. Eighty-four percent chance is pretty good, but if we don't land this, we can't finish everybody off this turn. It looks like. I mess up with laughing deer. Pass it to me. No luck. I could use dynamite. I can't hit this guy with it. But maybe... I dynamite this guy. Shoot him with Bill. Take him out. Then have Bill take out the rifleman instead. What is Bill's chance of hitting this guy with your names on him? 91. So we'll get closer. I feel like it's a waste of dynamite. Ready when you are. She also has a chance of hitting these guys. It's not very good. That's buckshot, so that's not gonna work anyway. I should have just moved closer there. Sure. Now all I get for killing everybody in the first round is more dynamite. Is it even worth doing? I do want to pursue all the secondary objectives when I can. Yeah? Do I want to risk an 84% chance? Eyes on the prize.
Will do. Death approaches. Oh, yeah? Ready, like always. Better find my stuff. Here's a hang tight for now. Bitter? Me? I'm fucking loving this. Let's go grab this. your time hmm oh that's not you good think they call me laughing deer because I waste my time on tears here I go Really banking on landing that 93% shot. But two for one's good, right? He's still out in the open. I mean, he can take a couple shots. I'm gonna try and have Jin pull aggro instead. Done and done. Leave some for me too. Stick him, boys. Bastards. Be a lot of shots coming towards die, Bill. Pig. Shoot the old man. Waste the bullets. But we can visit the surgeon after this. Need a new spot. For me too. All right, have a plan for that. Uh, let's try and get Flynn. Sure. Up here. idea for this one as well. All right, all right. It's only two. Well, I can hit three. Let's do it. Live. Not the best odds, but if I get closer. Take out this guy, the next one. 
but they'll be in a pretty dangerous position. Maybe I do this instead. Laughing Deer still needs two attacks on him to do or to finish him off, so that's yeah, it's all three. What's the play? I'll also have this fella. Let's dance. Let's do that. Have Laughing Deer finish dead. this guy off. I will. I've been run out of much better towns than this. Die! And yeah, there's probably a better way to do this. This also works. Oh, I have to use uh, flinch. Yeah, I was gonna do that anyway. Use our shadow swap to get up here. Uh, but for now, we I mean, get a hit on this guy and then pull out. Done and done. And I'll soften him up for next turn. Yeah. Right. That works out. Oh, it's on. Oh, for dear. Oh, wow. 18 damage? Who's that dumb? Let's get him. I guess he didn't count as being behind full cover right there. I assume that angle was safe. Got him now. Obviously not the case. I'll fuck you up, assholes. Want to see me get real angry? A pretty good odds. We can move closer. Ninety-four percent chance, but she has no cover. But we can finish him off with Laughing Deer. If she lands her shot. Ah, shit! I'm still here. Eighty-nine percent chance. Let's uh, ramp that up to hundred percent. Behind full cover here. Can I flank him at all? Landed, we could have finished yeah. him off this turn. I don't think that we can. Yeah. Hawa. 
So do it next turn. Bastards! This way. Showtime. Right. I besides the one 18 damage shot Laughing Deer took, that was a pretty solid mission, I think. And the one slip up by Bill missing that 93% shot. Is there else after the head of my pal? That's what I thought. Uh, so I'm assuming the kidney beans are what we got. We're doing uh, Flynn's Shadow Swap. Uh, this filling meal has been keeping cowboys healthy since the beginning of the westward expansion. Those six hit points. A uh, dynamite. Uh, this common, ex common explosive material deals damage to every character in the blast radius. Widowmaker. Handgun. Effective range 1 to 12. A bullseye chance buff. Uh, the character adds 15% bullseye chance when using the weapon. Here is a gun that won the hard west. Light, handy, and deadly. The number of tears shed by those who loved its victims is unimaginable. When a character shoots from this gun, it gets a major modifier to bullseye chance. And Coyote Tooth Necklace. This necklace has been passed down in Laughing Deer's family from father to son for generations. Each bearer of the necklace added a fang from a coyote he killed. To prove his worth in these hard times, Deer had to use his bare hands to defeat a demonic predator attacking his village. Since then, the ancestral spirits living in the necklace have supported him in close combat. The bullseye chance bonus this lens only works with melee weapons. Plus 15. Awesome. Laughing Deer wiped the blood off his face and spat like he ate something foul. He took his things from Flynn with a scowl. Man didn't know how to lose. Didn't know how to say thank you either. I good to see you back. We thought you were dead. Flynn flung herself over Deer's neck, but he shoved her away angrily. You both left me there! And Kestro! And now you're happy to see me? Acquiring loyalty points. Sometimes you have to decide which posse member should act in certain events. When you choose an option suggested by a certain posse member, that character earns loyalty points. She did what she could. You know you can trust me, Jin. So much extra dialogue than what's down here. You think she wouldn't go back for you next if she could. She did her best. Now she saved your butt here. You best remember that. It's okay, Jin. Uh, we're all angry. Right, dear? What were the charges? Whatever you did must have been pretty bad if you're wanted even in Oregon. How many places put a price on your noggin? All of them. How did you survive? I jumped out the window at the same moment when you and Flynn vanished. Landed in a pile of snow. After I dug myself out, a rider in the distance saw me staggering around. Instead of helping me, he took off. Came back later with a whole mob of men. 
let's lay low for now. Alright, folks, let's lay low for now. Dear, take Richie's horse, and let's find a place to rest. Give the folks some time to crawl back out. I saw a doctor's office nearby. We could get patched up proper tomorrow. We'll also visit that train station. We need to get the heck out of this freezing crap hole. We laid low at some shack at the town outskirts, waiting for the day to pass. The townsfolk avoided us, unsure if we're allies or enemies. But looking at the way they cleaned their streets of the corpses, they didn't like that Richie guy much. At dawn, we took off to find the medic. By healing, a posse member who falls in combat recovers one hit point after the fight is over. Other characters keep the number of hit points with which they finish the shootout. All wounds can be healed by visiting a surgeon. The surgeon's office stood at the very outskirts of town. It smelled of alcohol and gangrene. We found the door open, and the young surgeon seemed eager for, to work, chirpy even, but the blood on his collar made me uneasy. He scouted our cuts and bruises. I can patch you all up, but it'll cost you. This ain't charity. Alright, heal up. One dollars for everybody. The surgeon set to work. Soon all the bones were set, all the bullets were removed, and all the cuts were sewn shut. Much obliged, Doc. I'll take this the wrong way, but I hope we never see you again. <laughs> oh, this is new. Uh, general stores like this one are the perfect places to pick up tools, weapons, camping equipment, and anything else one might need in their travels. We're about to enter the general store, we saw a freshly printed wanted poster nailed to the door. The face on it belonged to a grumpy looking old man. Uh, howdy partners, how may I help you on this fine day? Who's the man on the wanted poster? It's the previous owner of this store, sir. He had a deal with Richie, to let him overcharge the townsfolk for a share in the spoils. But now that Richie's dead, the scoundrel absconded with his ill-gotten gains, and the store's goods too. Afraid of his neighbor's wrath, most likely. And wrathful we are, sir. Hence the bounty. Bring him back to Boomtown. We'll pay you forty dollars. Double that if you bring the goods back too. Sure, we can do that. And tracking. Not everything in Hard West 2 is served on a silver platter. Sometimes you must track down your target by searching the map for the right trail. I head right toward the mountain pass in the southeast. Good luck tracking him down. The thrill of the hunt. It's been a while since I felt it. Or anything at all, really. Let's not sell anything yet. We still have a pickaxe. As far as kidney beans are concerned, we'll give those to... Sorry, my cat is making a ton of noise in the background. So I give him a ranged option. No new cards, but I'm going to give the movement to Laughing Deer instead. And he has a warrior. The character inflicts plus one damage while using melee weapons. Alright, works for me. Let's go check out the train station. As we came closer to the station, we saw a single train standing on a side track, and a sad round man with his hands in his pockets, standing on the wooden platform. Uh, hello there. Oh, here I see. Is there any way out of here? You probably already heard we dealt with Richie and his men. Now is there any way out of here? Sadly, no. 
The Eastern Pass is blocked solid. Unless a strange winter passes, or someone from Pine Falls clears the way, we're all stuck in this valley. There's always a way. Well, if you're determined enough, you could try to find a passage yourselves. Or ask old Mervyn. He lives in a hut north of the town. He knows these mountains better than anyone. We're off. Adios. Check out this red cross. I can't feel the cold, but looking at you makes me shiver. Got another one of those of the crosses. This time, the victim seemed to be an old man. He's frozen stiff, and the ravens are fighting for his eyes. Behind the cross, we saw a bundle of clothes and a simple backpack. Another one. What the heck is going on here? Be careful, Jin. Maybe this one bites too. Examine the body. At least this one isn't a biter. Woo. For a second there, I thought maybe Old Death had taken a holiday in this frozen hellhole. You're the expert. What do you think about this? Bill? Good decision. Uh, this is the work of a killer, a real nut job or a cultist. I took some of them down back in my day. We might stumble across more of these crosses. We better beware. Check his belongings. I wonder why they left his, his things like that. Whoever did this didn't kill him for his things, Carter. Let's just go. This ain't our business. Alright, let's talk with Deer. I approach Laughing Deer. He acknowledged me with a small nod. Carter. How did you end up in Boomtown? I jumped out the window at the same moment when you and Flynn vanished. Landed in a pile of snow. After I dug myself out, a rider in the distance saw me staggering around. Instead of helping me, he took off. Came back later with a whole mob of men. I ran, but they caught me and dragged me to town. Someone recognized me from a dead or alive poster, and they decided stringing me up would make it easier to collect. That's when you arrived. Ask about his past. Something is deeply wrong with you if you think you can just casually ask me about my past. Riding together, even killing together, does not give you that right. Even if I wanted to share my story with you, you could not possibly understand it. You are a stubborn one. Fine. I will speak. I come from the people of the Great Plains. Once, we were free. The horizon was ours. And we belonged to the Earth and the sky. Everything was in harmony for generations untold. And then your people came. Right, that's enough talking. Get some rest, LD. Alright, break camp. It's not gonna whistle past yet. I'll check out the cursed tree and then we'll wrap up the episode. Oh, never mind. We found some tracks too. Wagons of the greedy shopkeeper must have been overloaded with supplies. As they left deep tracks in the snow. The trail was following the road southeast, straight toward the mountain pass leading out of the valley. Let's keep looking. The view is both dreadful and fascinating. Ghastly white bark and twisted branches festooned with dozens of bone fetishes. My spine tingled every time I glanced at this grotesque caricature of a tree. Approach the tree. As we approach the tree, we notice two distressed lumberjacks standing underneath. Wherever you are, folks, you better stay away from this place. The tree is cursed. Cursed, I tell you. Tell us what happened. Calm down and tell us what happened. Maybe we can help you. My son, he... He was a young man. A mere spring chicken when we got here. And now, just look at him, gosh darn it. 
Lumberjack took us to a man he claimed was his son. An old coot staring silently at his arthritis deformed hands. This morning they found the tree and noticed a shiny amulet hanging on one of the top branches. Unable to climb that high, they decided to cut the whole thing down. The son got to work but quickly lost all his vigor. Turned out that every strike of the axe put a year on him. He cut himself down too. You greedy bastards! That's what you get for messing with the Shadow Dance witchcraft! That tree is a harbinger of doom! Remind me who Shadow Dance are, dear. Those people are my people. Amaka, the leader of the movement, called our people to go into the shadows and wage war against the foreign invaders until they were destroyed or driven away. The ones who answered Maka's call made up the Shadow Dance. They say they're the last hope in that desperate fight. Do you unhex that curse, Flynn? No freaking way. That's some crazy evil crap, Jin. Way over my head. Try to reach the amulet. Some dialogue options can be locked until the posse member reaches a specific loyalty level. They also offer higher rewards. So hold off on this for now. We'll try to get more loyalty with one of our companions. Let's leave it for now. We walked away, leaving the lumberjack and his elderly son on their own. When will we finally camp? All right, I'm gonna call it here for now. Uh, next time we'll see if we can't track down the traitor and maybe pay a visit to Old Mervin. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.